In Visme, you can create your own color palette. Let me show you how. One of the most frustrating things that designers or non-designers face is the ability to match the colors of their design. Uh, this may be that you are creating a design on one slide or on one project and you want to keep using the same colors over and over again. Or even on the same slide, I may want to use the color that, I'm, uh, that is applicable to my brand uh, over and over again. So here's how this works. You know, currently here I have a few objects, shapes, and icons, and even text, and they're different colors. And as you can clearly see, they don't really match. Uh, so every brand, every company has their own color scheme. And uh, in Visme, you can create your own. So here's how it works. I'm going to click on any object, and I can go ahead and launch my color palette by just clicking on it. And notice that I can do that also. Uh, it appears on the top left, so here it is, it appears here, but also sometimes if I have my left panel open, when I click it, it's going to be accessible here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And in this case, um, you can add new colors by just clicking on the object and then just uh, manually selecting your color, but most often if you're a company or organization, you've been given your own hexacolor codes, so you can easily enter that in. Uh, in this case, I've added the first five or six colors of the Visme's color palette, and I'm going to go add the other ones in. So one of them, for example, is uh, 65B882. Um, and this is, as you see here, um, I manually entered this because I knew what that hexacolor is. And also, I'm just, I can also copy paste this color. And again, you can copy paste from any other program, such as a text editor. Your designer may give you the hexa colors um, codes for your color palette. So I'll go ahead and also enter this one. Okay. So these are the colors for uh, Visme, and I'm going to actually show you in a moment how I'm going to apply these colors to my design. However, uh, over here, I've created a bunch of colors, but I've not saved it. So I need to save my palette so that I can access it here anytime, not just during this current session, but also in the future from any other design that I create, any other project. So I'm happy with the colors that I have. These are all the branding colors. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in Visme Brand Colors. And I'm going to hit OK. So the palette is saved. And there it is. I have my palette created here. So if you notice, I can go ahead to some other object and I can go to the palettes and clear, click on the uh, color palette. So there's all the colors and I can start using those colors. So let me just give you an example of how this could work. I'm going to go ahead and use the um, colors that are applicable to Visme. So in this case, um, you see for our charts, I'll move this here. This is for our presentation. So in Visme, uh, we often, when we talk about presentations on our website and other areas, we use the color red. So uh, there is the color red here, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a light color shade for the charts. I'm going to go here and do the dark color because uh, I want to apply a yellow, which is what we use for when we represent infographics or data visualization in Visme. So there's my other color, and here for resumes, I'll go ahead and again use our lighter shade. We always use this color when we have a dark uh, or a darker color behind it. And then I'll also go ahead for uh, create Visme, create visual content with ease. I can just go ahead and just um, modify a single word. So I'm going to go to this area, this couple words here, and I will go to the, as you see, the color follows me everywhere that I go, and I'll go ahead and apply this color. So there it is. Now I create a matching subtle tone, uh, where in this case we have actually bright colors, but these are our branding colors. So at any, if you're an organization or a company, you can at any time go create multiple palettes uh, if you need to, but typically every company has one palette. And once you do that, you access it here and just keep applying it to every single object so that you can have a uniform uh, feel of your design.